lightning is consistently one of the top three causes of weather-related injuries and deaths in the United States, resulting in approximately 100 fatalities, many hundreds of injuries, and billions of dollars of damage annually. Costs to the airline industry alone amount to about $2 billion each year. Lightning is also a major source of nitrogen oxides that affect air chemistry and air quality in the atmosphere and influence global climate. Weather forecasters currently rely on ground-based observation networks to provide real-time lightning monitoring. Coverage gaps over land and sparse non-uniform observations over oceans, however, limit the application of these networks. Additionally, the national-scale ground-based networks in the Western Hemisphere detect only cloud-to-ground lightning strikes, missing cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning, which poses the greatest risk to aviation. Also, since cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning typically precedes the occurrence of cloud-to-ground lightning, ground-based networks are limited in their ability to offer early warning of an approaching lightning threat to those on the ground. The next generation GOES-R weather satellites will monitor all lightning activity across nearly all of the Western Hemisphere in real time, providing forecasters with a revolutionary tool for improved nowcasts and warnings of lightning, hail, and other thunderstorm threats. The next generation GOES-R satellites will carry the Geostationary Lightning Mapper, or GLM, instrument, which will continuously measure all lightning activity, cloud-to-cloud -cloud and cloud-to-ground flashes, across most of the Western Hemisphere. This will be one of the first instruments of its kind to simultaneously cover such a large geographic region. In addition to monitoring lightning in real time, these satellite-based lightning observations will help improve predictions of tornadoes, hail, microbursts, flash floods, and help provide warnings of an impending cloud-to-ground lightning danger. Monitoring lightning nearly continuously will help emergency managers and firefighters identify potential fire ignitions in even the most remote areas and reduce response times. The expanded geographical coverage provided by the GLM will lead to a significant improvement in airline routing around thunderstorms, improving safety, saving fuel, and reducing delays. Early warning of lightning activity will help save lives for construction crews, other workers in outdoor settings, as well as the general public. The GLM's continuous observations will help forecasters predict and track severe thunderstorms and related hazards including lightning, tornadoes, hail, microbursts, and flash floods across nearly all of the Western Hemisphere. The combination of data from the GLM, ABI, and polar orbiting satellites will help improve real-time estimates of precipitation, improve warnings of potential flash flood conditions, and will be used by numerical weather prediction models to help improve hurricane forecasts. Information provided by the GLM, which includes total lightning flash rates and trends, is expected to improve tornado warning lead time, as well as nowcasts of hail, downbursts, and microbursts. It can do this owing to the correlation between observed trends in lightning activity, thunderstorm updraft and downdraft strength, and subsequent severe weather. Other applications and benefits of lightning data from the GLM include the potential to monitor atmospheric chemistry, improve air quality forecasts, and facilitate the study of deep convection and lightning in relation to climate variability.